Hello and welcome to another episode of the Law of Relevancy podcast. We speak with marketing and advertising industry professionals about topics that make your lives and careers more relevant. We guarantee that you're going to learn at least one thing on this podcast episode. I'm Cord Zowen. I'm the president and CEO of Bake More Pies, a digital marketing agency located here in Tampa, Florida. Today, we bring you a very special guest. You may know him as Santa Claus, Chris Kringle, St. Nick, Perry Noel. Welcome, Chris. All right, welcome, Quartz. Thank you for having me today. May I call you Chris? Of course you can call me Chris. You can call me Chris. You can call me Nicholas. There's lots of names. I answer to many all over the world in at least one or two names from every language. So uh, you're super busy this time of year. What uh, brings uh, you to Tampa? Well, Tampa, well, Tampa and Florida is a destination for people around the world. It's an international state. So this is a great place for me to get a read leading up on the holidays, holiday spirit, how people are feeling. All of that. So rumor has it you actually spend some time in the off season down here. I do. I do. I do. I love the beaches. I love the weather. Of course I come here. It's a direct contrast to the North Pole. Yeah. So a couple of things have been on my mind lately. Okay. Uh, you know, obviously the Mandalorian is huge. <laughs> <laughs> right. I've been through this before. Star Wars really popped 77, 78, and the demands for Star Wars merchandise. Oh. I had to go through all those licensing headaches before every time a new series comes out. Well, that was my question. It, yeah. it seems like the uh, the Baby Yoda merch is uh, way behind. What's going it's on a there? Top, it's a top. Well, it's not way behind. It's a top request. It was launched for Disney Plus. It was for their new network. They knew this was coming. They have timed it so that the demand would come now. And I could have a limited release of Baby Yoda, but that wouldn't be fair if I pick and chose just a few lucky kids which is kind of fun, but overall, I think it's best to work with the marketing juggernaut of Star Wars and their 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 canon, their universe, and do it right with their release dates. Well, let's talk about that a little bit. So, uh, when it comes to managing your your database, your your naughty and your nice list, is there any technology that oh. you guys are using these days? Oh yes, yeah. I mean, the, we still have the hard copies, but yeah. everything's digital and it updates instantly. So right up until I arrive at someone's house, I know if they're awake. I know if they're asleep. I know if they're causing problems with their family get togethers. If they're getting into mischief at the last minute, I know the naughty and nice list has gone digital courts. I can swipe left for naughty or yeah. right for nice in a heartbeat. And is that in the, uh, the app store or is it no, a customer no, release? It's proprietary. <laughs> it's proprietary. Although I thought about making a naughty and nice app available for parents. Oh, that's very, well, very you know, smart. So they can tell their children where they are, how they rank on the list. And so they can communicate to me. I get a lot from the elf on the shelf. You know, people's elves, Jingle, yeah. Taylor, Mikey, they all come to me and report to me every single day. So I know what kids are doing. But Are you looking at any uh, Alexa or Google Home plugins for the uh, reporting? I, no, because I don't want people to feel they're watched in that way. Gotcha. That's gotcha. a little much for some people. And I want them to be comfortable. Wonderful, wonderful tools and fantastic for integrating your home for a number of technologies. But I, I want people to be careful. If they're ready for that, maybe we'll go there one day. Maybe one day. Yeah. Maybe it's on the road. We now. certainly can. We already know how. But it's not something I want people to think we're already doing. Of course you can. So, uh, you know, obviously we talk with a lot of CMOs on this show, a lot of director oh, of comms. Yeah, right. Are you getting any special requests from that? Uh, of course. Most yeah. of them have already been done and through. I mean, you've seen the commercials. You've seen the marketing. And that's a lot of how I get my name out there. It's It just happens naturally. But there are always those. And they're usually the CMOs that are on the naughty list yeah. that put in those last-minute requests the month of, the week of Christmas. Right. Even days before. Exactly. So when, let's talk about your PR for a second. Okay. So. It, you know, it happens naturally, right? I mean, isn't that what, you know, all good communications directors like want to make want everybody to happen, feel, but it just, right? it's, it's built into who we are as a culture mm -hmm. around the world and, and the spirit of, of goodwill and giving. And by the way, I have had more kids ask me this year what I want for Christmas than ever wow. before. Wow. And the thing is, I tell them that what I want for Christmas is to give of myself and of the toys and of the gifts for people around the world. And that is the true spirit. Of, of Christmas is, is the giving and being right. present in the moment with those you love. 
Wow, that's uh, that's really impactful. So uh, I know you've been doing a lot of great work uh, mm-hmm. lately uh, with some nonprofits. Uh, yeah, there's of course. My favorite are the ones where I get to meet children that can't come to see me, whether it's at the mall or uh, a park or wherever I may be to meet and take pictures with children and get their naughty and their their list, their Christmas list, and to confirm if they're on the naughty and nice list because they all want to know. They all know. Everyone has a thing or two, a bad choice or two they've done throughout the year. And to be honest, there are very few people actually on the naughty list. But yeah, I do have to, I do have to watch that. Gotcha, gotcha. So uh, one of the things we ask everybody is, is there anything we need to be looking forward to in 2020? Any new releases, anything coming out? What, Santa-wise? Yeah. Uh, well, like I said, there, From the there, North there, Pole, there, yeah. there may be some apps. I think we are going to, we are definitely going to be picking up our presence on social media. Mm-hmm. I want people to have better access to me throughout the year, uh, through commentary, through uh, accessibility with letters, mm-hmm. being able to write to me. So, uh, the phone calls, the emails, and certainly the handwritten letters have dropped off over the years. So we have to keep up with that just like everyone else. So when you're when you're following your social media, what are what are you paying most attention to? Is it the likes, the engagement, the shares? Like, how does that work? The what I look for is is the engagement, and I I want to read right. the commentary. It's so easy to hit a like button, but when I can read what they're coming from, what their feelings are, and start to get a gauge on who they are, which by the way can play into the whole naughty and nice thing very quickly. Uh, that's what I like. I like to be able to see into their personality a little. Well, that makes a lot of sense. Well, well, Santa, thank you so much for coming in and spending time with us today. I know you're super busy this time of year. But it's a pleasure to see you again, Cords. I've been following you. You're 1977. I've been watching you for quite some time. That is correct. That is the year I was born. (laughs) (laughs) Well, thank you so much, Chris. My pleasure, Cords. All right. And so, everybody, you can follow us on the social media, on Bake More Pies feed, um, on Instagram, on Facebook. And looking forward to bringing you the next episode of the Law of Relentlessly podcast. Have a Merry Christmas.